Hello and welcome to the NBS show episode number 502. I'm your host Matanzo and we got some news for you this week. And yeah, the news is pretty mm, one-sided if you ask me. So anywho, let's pop right into it. First up is new My Little Pony World Android slash iOS G5 game reveal. Um, 13 minute video, oh sorry, 30 minutes of gameplay. So a company called Bu, hmm, Bu, Budug, Budugi, Bu, something like that. Studios who also did a bunch of G4 games apparently has a G5 game in the works for both Android and iOS. Uh, 14, 14 minute video has popped up on YouTube showing it all off. It looks like yet another collection and exploration game for Maritime Bay, complete with unlocks, mini games, quests and customization. Check it out if you're curious. So I was and I did. And I recommend you do so too. And looking at the gameplay, ooh, that's interesting. Sh should I be here a bit more? No, 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 I, I should be here, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, looking at the video, the gameplay itself was rather interesting. It's it's a simple game. Um, you move your characters by pointing to stuff. So uh, the basic lowdown is uh, in the video, you play as Sunny. Uh, you're collecting orbs on the ground and you fill the uh, fill up the meter and cool stuff will happen or you'll get something uh, and um, kind of the part two of this uh, expanded information on my little pony world for ios android yesterday we posted a video about a brand new ios and android game this uh, dedicating once again to exploration and playing mini games in Maritime Bay. Since then, the community has done a lot of digging and found some bits of information about the upcoming release. Uh, it is currently only available in the public to the public in Australia and Canada, and should be available for everyone else eventually on the regular Google Play, Apple App Store, Amazon App Store as for uh, the usual pricing model, there's a monthly subscription, uh, $9 Canada and $11 U Australian I think. Uh, for unspecified features outside of the free trial. Mm, so, anyway, um, <clears throat> uh, like I mentioned before, the game is kind of a collectathon, uh, mini games and so on. Uh, you play as Sunny, you collect spears, and then um, further gameplay reveals that oh, you can help ponies do stuff. I, I think you play as Easy at one point, and yeah, you you do stuff. Um, you collect stuff like colors, furniture, and so on, and you can go to your home, which I think is the lighthouse, and you can decorate it. You can put tables, you can paint the walls, redecorate the floor, and so on. Uh, basically, it's a kid's version of the IKEA simulator. Mm. So, my, my personal opinion on this, if you are wondering what I think about it, no, I kind of game. Not my kind of game. Um, personally, this kind of games are, hmm, how, how do I put this? It's to be expected and it's about time, but why didn't they did this way back with G4? Um, I, I know Seth said that they did a lot of G4 games, but, oh man, let's see. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I remember playing this, didn't like it. Um, I remember this, but not really. 
Yeah, I, I just remember this. This this one was kind of a puzzle game where you try to match tree and stuff. Uh, it was fun for a bit, but eh, not my thing. So yeah, this one is your basic collectathon. You do stuff, play mini games, and so on. I can see this really working for. Um, how do I put this? Um, I have a friend who has nieces, and they play stuff like this. So yeah, for me personally, nah, I, I, I don't find enjoyment with this. This is not a game that I personally would want to play. But if you're curious, go check out the video. Um, this link here from IGTV, uh, they played 13 to 14 minutes of it. And I think Take it with a grain of salt because from what I saw, the frame rate was choppy. And that could not uh, that could be because of the emulator that the person was running. So if you're running on proper hardware, uh the game might run smoothly and so on. Um I doubt that the game creators would be that neat like full to release a game that's of poor quality so let's move on to other gaming news <laughs> uh, Hasbro shows off new Roblox Maritime Bay Hasbro has released a video showing of new Maritime <clears throat> uh, the new My Little Pony Visit Maritime Bay Roblox World for those that don't feel like downloading and and downloading it and exploring it yourself. They run around as a variety of ponies and show off the cr creature character creator. Mm. So yep, yep. I'm not gonna play the video because um right reasons. Uh Visit Maritime Bay goes live on Roblox, so yes, it's out now. Cool. Be a Pony Explorer Time Bay for all the Roblox fans out there. You can visit the Earth Pony City, the description promise crystal collecting, uh, soaring with zip and dancing game with Pip, uh, unicycling with Easy, and much more. Go uh, check it out over here, Roblox. You know, let's just check it out for a bit. Um, Ro My Little Pony, Visit Maritime Bay by My Little Pony, all ages. So, um, personally, I don't play Roblox, so I got no idea what the hey is this. But from my understanding of what Roblox is, it is Minecraft, but not Minecraft. Uh, and also, the game is user-generated, um, and that I mean, uh, there's a lot of um, how do I put it? Fans of the Roblox game create levels, mods, and so on, and put them up for downloads. Uh, some may even uh, put up there for sale, if I'm not mistaken. I, I don't know. So, yeah, um, that seems the gist of it. Uh, okay, um, let's see. So, and uh, not much. <clears throat> so, the game itself, Roblox, um, this, this is, hmm, how do I put this? This is kind of cool because this is also hmm, part of the My Little Pony marketing and putting it in Roblox seems smart because target demographic for the game does play Roblox. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I can say much. Like, honestly, um, my knowledge is just Roblox is similar to Minecraft, except that it does other things than mine stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's something fascinating to see. But other than that, um, seems like this is a really cool crossover, I think. 
and that's about it. Yeah, um, pretty slow news week on the um, content. Um, a lot of the news revolves around um, gaming, from I from mobile gaming to Roblox. So yeah, that, that's the news for this week. So let's wrap things up. Uh, Moving on, the next topic is what have I been doing with my week? Uh, this week has been going pretty well. Um, slow, slow. <laughs> Work has been doing fine and so on. Um, I haven't done anything new really. Um, still uh, do, doing the old same things, uh, nothing changed. Um, been planning on visiting a or catching up with an old friend, but the old friend has been a bit busy, so we couldn't find time. Like, uh, he's been a real friend, and it's just nice to catch up and so on. So yeah, um, that that's about it. Other than that, there's nothing new really. So I guess I'll wrap it up here. <clears throat> so if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themissionjimmy.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. This show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. You can also subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also stay your radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on from the live.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill. Tara and Jacob reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, specials, movies, and so on. Sometimes we like to do other things than ponies, and that can be cartoon, animes, comic books, mangas, movies, video games, and many more. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, Master of Like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Roman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the Show. See ya.